welcome back to my channel. It's Chelsea here and today we are going to be talking about products that I've used up and sharing my thoughts, what I think about them, and if I recommend them to you. So let's just get started. Um, in no particular order, I literally have a bag here full of products that I've used up, I want to say over the past maybe three or so months. So first we have the Pixie Skin Treats Vitamin Makeup Mist. I really enjoy this. So you can get any Pixie product from Target. Um, or their website and it has orange blossom and, cit and citrus extracts. I like to use this in the morning so after I put on my moisturizer I'll spray this on my face and it really just gives my face a really nice wake up refreshing vibe. I would definitely repurchase this. This is actually my second bottle of it um, and I just ran out recently so I would repurchase this. Next we have Cetaphil Day Daily Facial Cleanser, and this has been my jam for probably since maybe 2014. Love this. I think it cleans my face really well. It doesn't strip my skin and make it feel really tight and dehydrated after I cleanse with it. This is definitely my go-to cleanser in the summertime. For the wintertime, if, if my skin gets a little too um, dry, I'll use something else. So for the winter time when my skin gets a little bit more dry, I've been using this CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser for normal to dry skin. And this definitely helps to make to cleanse my face, but also it doesn't strip my skin. I've already used up one and I think I threw it in a trash can. So this is not a used up one, but I just wanted to show you what I'm using now. But when my skin is more uh, combination oily, this is definitely my go-to. Next we have the Thayer's Witch Hazel in the lavender scent and this is the only toner that I use. It's alcohol free so it doesn't strip the skin and it just feels so good on the skin. It doesn't dry out my skin at all. It really feels hydrating and refreshing on the skin. So like I said, I think I've been using that since 2017 so I've gone through many of them. I only have one in here but I've gone through many of them. We have here the Drunk Elephant TLC Framboose Glycolic Night Serum and uh, as much as I don't want to recommend it, I recommend this so much. I don't want to recommend it because it's very expensive and every time I repurchase this, because I've repurchased this now twice, my heart like dies a little bit on the inside because it is expensive but it works. It has 12% AHA and BHA blend, which basically those are acids that are going to penetrate the skin and help to get rid of and slough off that dead skin so that your skin is renewing itself more efficiently and then you're left with a complexion that's brighter and that's um, freer of dark spots and things like that. So it's a serum that I definitely recommend everyone should have in their skincare regimen. Now if you choose to go with Drunk Elephant or another brand, you know, that's definitely up to you. But I found that this so far has been, has been the most efficient glycolic serum to work on my skin. I'm actually using another glycolic serum. I'm trying it out. It's much cheaper. But if it doesn't work, I will re I'll just go back to this one because it really does work. I have two of these. These are the Neutrogena Eye Makeup Remover. They're, they're oil-free ones and the best oil, the, the best eye makeup removers that I've tried. For heavy makeup days, eye makeup days, I only have to use maybe one or two cotton pads with this on it and it removes my makeup. Doesn't irritate my eyes and pretty affordable. Definitely recommend it. We have here a deluxe size of the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream or Boom Boom Cream. And this cream, I recommend it only for the scent and the shimmer. So it has this, it smells like vacation. It's got this coconut base scent and it is scrumptious. I have this in the body spray as well. Um, I won't, I, I, I don't know if I'll ever purchase the larger tube because it's $45. And it's supposed to, so let me tell you what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to actually tighten your skin, your um, skin, tighten your bum, and all that other stuff. I don't think it does that. It's just me personally. Also, I can only use this in the summertime because my skin is too dry on my body during the winter time and the spring time. So, like I said, that's why I say I only recommend it for the shimmer because I will say this. You put that joker on and you don't really see anything. But you go out in the sun and you're like, ooh look at me I feel like a goddess there is shimmer there and it's so pretty 
and uh, like I said, it smells amazing. Um, the spray, I really like. The spray, it doesn't last on my body for a long time. So I think this, along with the spray, is one of those like feel good kind of, you know, I deserve this type of purchase. It's definitely not something that I would say you need to incorporate that in your daily routine because it works and it hydrates the skin. I honestly like it for summertime. It makes me feel, you know, a little more glam. Here I have a vitamin E oil and I swear by vitamin E oil. So I purchased this one. <laughs> Let me tell you how long I've had this one. I bought this one when I had my second daughter, which was in 2015, okay? And I used this for my C-section scar. So then fast forward to 2017, I still had it because I only used it for a little bit. And I noticed that my face was just breaking out more and I was having some scarring that wasn't really going away. And I was looking through my um, skincare stuff and I was like, vitamin E is good for the skin. Vitamin E is good for scars. Because my doctor told me to buy it to heal my C-section scar. And ever since 2017, I want to say, this is a part of my nightly routine. So I don't have this specific one. I'm using a vitamin E oil from, I want to say Trader Joe's. I really like that one too. And I'm telling you, first of all, my skin feels so supple and soft in the morning. Secondly, though, I really do feel like, especially when I've had really bad breakouts, it really does help to heal my skin and calm the skin down. I swear by it. Like, I swear by oils at night anyway. And I don't use a moisturizer at night. I use two oils, vitamin E oil, and right now I've also incorporated black seed oil. But I've also loved marula oil, rose hip seed oils. To me, the oils just really help to hydrate my skin. I've also noticed that my skin is not as oily anymore. So now, so I went from having oily skin to now I have more combination normal skin. And I do think it's because I'm giving my skin the hydration it needs. So my skin doesn't need to produce excessive oils causing oily skin and more breakouts. So vitamin E oil, I stand for. So next we have the Green Clean, the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup, makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. And this balm, I really, really liked it. Um, you can't see it, but it was a green, it was a green balm. And I really felt that it took off my makeup so efficiently. And um, I really, really liked how good it felt on the skin too. Kind of felt a little cooling as well um, but the balm basically I put it on with my face dry like with a full face and make it like this rubbed it into the skin and then added water and it really did melt away my makeup now I have not repurchased it because this is the deluxe size which was $20 and then the larger size is $34 I don't know about that I recommend it but I don't know about repurchasing it. Now what I did find that I would repurchase is the Physician's Formula, the Perfect Matcha um, Cleansing Balm. This one is $14.99 at CVS. I think it's a little cheaper at Walmart. And this is very similar to it. So um, I, don't, I don't think you'll be able to see it. This is a lighter green color compared to the pharmacy one. And the Physician's Formula one is definitely a little more greasy than the pharmacy one but I really enjoyed this well I felt that it worked really good I would go on as to say they're not perfect dupes for each other but they're very similar so if you've tried this one and you really liked it but you're like me and you're like I don't really know if I want to spend that much money on it I suggest trying this one and seeing how you like it we have next the L'Oreal Revita Lift 1.5% pure hyaluronic acid. If you know me, you know hyaluronic acid is another skincare product that I stand by and for. So I was introduced to HA in um, around 2017. That's really when I got into skincare, so that's why I keep making references to that year. I was putting on concealer one day, it was patching off, couldn't figure out what was going on, and I realized that my under eyes were like a desert. They were so dry. And so um, I looked up a skincare regimen, saw AJ, it's like, I'll buy it, and I've been using it ever since. So if you didn't know, hyaluronic acid is an actual component that we have within our skin. And that's the product, that's the component that's going to actually hold in water to help plump the skin and make it look more youthful and reduce 
and reduce fine lines and wrinkles. But of course, as we age, that component starts to break down and wear away, which allows us to form more wrinkles and of course have more dehydrated looking skin. So when you're using HA, you're actually giving your skin back a component that it already has, which is why, in my opinion, it works so much more efficiently. This one by L'Oreal is so good. So I recently ran out of this one. I will be repurchasing it. I haven't done so yet because I have another HA product that I had left over. And I so said, I want to use that one. I don't want to waste it. But as soon as I'm done with this one, I'm going back and repurchasing this one. Deodorant. And a natural one at that. So August of last year, I decided I wanted to try to eliminate toxins from my body where I could. So I started looking into natural deodorants and I have fallen in love with the one by Schmitz. It's the Yangalang Plus Calen Calendula deodorant. It's the yellow one. Um, I've tried other deodorants, natural ones, and they don't hold me as long in terms of getting rid of odor. Um, and I've also tried other scents from this particular brand and I don't like them. It is just this one only that I really like that keeps my armpit smells at bay. Now, I will sweat, why? Because it doesn't have antiperspirant in it, which is the product and in in, in, in regular ones that prevent you from sweating, which is what is the harmful component in deodorants. So yes, I sweat. I sweat, I mean, and my armpits may feel sticky. Um, but I've gotten over it, it doesn't bother me too much. I'm just happy that I'm not producing an odor with this one. Um, a little learning curve with this, the texture of the deodorant is more coarse. So you can see it right here. Um, so what you are supposed to do and what has worked for me, I will apply it under my armpit. I feel like this is so inappropriate, but oh well. I will hold it under my armpit for just a couple seconds and then I do no more than five swipes. When I first started using this product, I, I only did three swipes because I heard that if you did more swipes or if you just go on and rub it like your normal one, you will break out in a rash. And I've seen rashes, I mean it is true because the product is a little bit more coarse. But if you hold it to your armpit for just a few seconds, your body temperature kind of warms it up a bit. You do no more than three swipes initially. I've worked my way up to five swipes and I haven't broken out. I'm not irritated. I like the smell of it too and I love it. So I've this is my second container, um, and it lasts long, like, in my opinion, longer than the regular ones that I use, probably because I'm only doing three to five swipes, so there's a lot of product there. So yes, we'll definitely be repurchasing that. Hey, I got a sample of this Drunk Elephant Bestie Number no. 9 Jelly Cleanser, and I really like it. Um, don't know if I will purchase the full size simply because I like my CeraVe cleanser, but this felt really good on the skin. It doesn't have any toxic chemicals in it, so it's really healthy for the skin. Um, not unreasonably priced for the brand, so the full size is $34, but probably won't be. I probably wouldn't purchase the full size simply because I like my drugstore one and it works well and it's much more affordable. The Tatcha Pure One Step Camilla Cleansing Oil and y'all, I really like this. I really like it. So I like to use cleansing oils or cleansing balms to take off my makeup and this one was, the texture of the oil was just so smooth it melted my makeup off. Um, this is a deluxe sample, so it's not the full size. I want to say the full size of the product is around $45, $50. And so I have not purchased the full size. Don't know if I will. Because I found other cleansing products that work really well and it keeps coins in my pocket. But do I recommend it? I do. Especially if you're someone who loves the brand, who doesn't mind spending money on skincare products. I say definitely try it, but for me... My coins need to go elsewhere. Here we have a finished sample of some rose hip seed oil. And like I said earlier, I recommend it. I was using this at night and um, I would repurchase it. Rose hip oil is good for acne prone skin and, and, um, and also helping to heal the skin. So I want to say for the past year, my skin really has been struggling with breakouts and acne. And so I, I purchased that and I thought, I, I do think it really helped to help my skin heal, especially when I had really bad acne breakouts. I would use that in conjunction with the vitamin E oil. So I definitely would repurchase it. So I have here the Drunk Elephant Marula Oil. Now let me tell you something. Drunk Elephant, they were trying to play people with this. I got this in a um, deluxe kit sample kit. 
for the um, Drunk Elephant Baby Facial Serum. And so they added this, and I was like, yes, I love the marula oil, but I'm not trying to pay all that money for it. Yo, look how small this is. Drunk Elephant, what was I supposed to do with this? Now, I will say this. It did last me almost a month because I only used one pump at a time. Marula oil, I love. Marula oil, I love about just as much as vitamin E oil. So it really does help to uh, hydrate the skin, moisturize the skin. For Drunk Elephant though, I have not bit the bullet and purchased the full size because the full size is $72. And the half size is $40. Yeesh, I can't make myself do it. Do I recommend it? I do recommend it because it is the best marula oil that I've tried, and I've tried a few different types, and it it's, it's it absorbs into the skin the most quickly, and it, I mean, it, it, it does work wonderfully. I'm not saying I never will purchase a full size, but I'm not doing it right now. The last product that I have is this Body Shop Tea Tree Oil, and I started using Tea Tree Oil because um, I kind of got obsessed with Meghan Markle, obviously, around the time when she was getting married, so I was reading on a lore of all her favorite beauty products and one of them was tea, tea tree oil. So she said that she never travels without it because it's the perfect product to get rid of pimples that she might um, have formed when she's traveling, flying in airplanes and going to different areas and different climates. And I was like, great, I'm going to try that because she tried it. But I really have really come to love it and appreciate it. What I do with tea tree oil is after I put on my skincare products, if I have any active breakouts, I'll just take a dab of this and dab it onto those breakout areas. And I kid you not, when I wake up in the morning, no, the acne spot is not gone, but it definitely has dried up and it doesn't look as aggressive. Like, it's not looking like that. This one by The Body Shop is really good because with tea tree oil, you're not supposed to use it in its raw form because it might be too harsh for the skin. So the one by The Body Shop is already mixed to where you can put it directly onto your skin and you don't have to mix it yourself. However... I have been using one by uh, Trader Joe's right now. That one is in its pure form, so I'm not supposed to directly put it onto my skin. But because I use two different types of oils, so I mix together my vitamin E oil and my, what are the, oh, I'm using black seed oil now. I'll mix those together, put that on my skin, then I'll add the tea tree oil. And I haven't had any issues. I don't have any irritation on my skin. And I feel like because I put the oil on my face first, and then go in with the tea tree oil that I'm able to use it in its raw form and not have any issues with it. But if you're somebody who doesn't use oils at night or you're using maybe a light moisturizer, then I would recommend buying a tea, a tea tree oil that's already pre-mixed so that you don't have to worry about using one that's too harsh and causing some irritation with your skin. So those are all the products that I've used up in the past three or four months. If you like this type of video, definitely let me know and leave it down in the comments below um, because then I'll just keep storing my trash and then we can talk about it when I get, when I feel like I've gotten a good amount of products um, to show you all. So thank you so much for watching this video. Definitely give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And of course, subscribe and join this little family here that I've created with you all. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.